Welcome, Sheikh Saud al Haq. We are ready to learn from you. Jazakumullah khaira. Bismillah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu. Hamdan kathiran tajiban mubarakan fihi mil as-samawati wal ardi wa mil ama baynahuma wa mil ama shi'ita min shayin ba'id. My dear brothers and sisters, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahabihi ajma'in. It's another privilege for us witnessing another Jum'ah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make today's Jum'ah a great benefit for every one of us. Amin. Dear brothers and sisters, I want to remind you all about helping the poor. When anyone tells you, I am hungry, dear brothers and sisters, try all possible best to fill the belly of the person. Even if it is someone that is thirsty, try to quench the thirst of the person. Why? The act of not giving food, the act of not quenching thirst of, for people, the act of neglecting the homeless is a great reason which people would find themselves in hell fire on the day of resurrection. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us. Brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he mentioned today's in the Holy Quran Surah al Muddathir, verse 40. Allah says, Fi jannatin yatasa'aloon anil mujrimeen ma salakakum fi saqr qalu labnakum min al musalleen وَلَمْ نَكُنْ نُتِعَمُ الْمِسْكِينَ Subhanallah. Allah says, In paradise, in garden of paradise, in garden of bliss, يَتَسَاءَلُونَ The dwellers of paradise would be asking, you know, when it comes to day of resurrection, people in Jannah, whatever the wish or whatever runs in their mind after entering Jannah, that thing will surely be reality immediately. It is in this life you will be thinking of something like, oh, I wish to have this and that thing would not be yours even after you have uh, fought to get it. So when it's the people of Jannah on that day, they would be able to see everything. You know, Allah says, That day, your sight will be clear. You would see everything. Things you are not capable of seeing in this life, that day everyone would see it. Subhanallah, ya amma shirkun. So on that day, when they think about, wow, where is... So, so person, we add transaction of business together in life. Is he also in Jannah? So, oh, wow. They've not seen him. Immediately, he thought of it that, where is he? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would definitely show that person to him. So, if the person is in hell, subhanallah, yatasa'alun, from where the dweller of Jannah is, you would be questioning that person in hell fire that Ma salakakum fi saqr. Subhanallah. What led you into the punishment of Allah? What brought you into this blazing fire? Qalu lam nakum Then he would reply, that day there is no going to be a cause for anyone to tell lie. All Eden that day it would become vindicated. Subhanallah. 
they would respond saying, Lem nekumin el musallin. We were not among those who pray to Allah. We were not among those who worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in life. That is the reason you find us here today. Walam nekunuta'imu al miskin. Not only that, um, we did not feed the needy. Subhanallah, ya amma yishirukun. Dear brothers and sisters, imagine the verse of Allah. Walam nakunu ta'imu al-miskeen. And we did not. Subhanallah, ya amma yishirukun. We find ourselves in hellfire today. That is they. They found themselves in hellfire today. All because they did not give food to that person who came to request for food. Subhanallah. They told the person the day he went to them that please quench my thirst. I need water. I need water. Subhanallah. And he has table water loaded in his fridge. Subhanallah. Then he says, wow, and I will give you a sachet of water, which is 10 naira. Subhanallah. No. When he is capable or she is capable of doing this, Subhanallah, ya amma shirkun. Let's beware, let's beware, let's beware. My dear brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He has promised the host that if we are patient and we give help to those in need, we give food to people in need, He is the one that will sustain us. You know, He is the sustainer of the whole universe. لا تفسيو ويطعمون الطعام على حبه مسكينا ويتيما وأسيرا. He says just people whom I am going to show mercy in life and after life are those who love to give to the needy, the poor, the orphans and the wayfarer. What would be in the love of the needy? Subhanallah, the needy amongst the poor, the, the, the wayfarers and the orphans. Subhanallah. My dear brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves you. When you give out to is definitely going to reward you with, with double. Subhanallah. He will give back in a double. Subhanallah. So why, why, what, what is keeping you? stepping back subhanallah what is keeping you going back my dear brothers and sisters when allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promise you when you do that thing i tell you brothers and sisters allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he will definitely fulfill his promise and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala safeguard us but it's, uh, my research uh, the outcome of my research is that many people are saying they are not going to be helpful to people uh, all because uh, they believe that giving out will diminish their wealth. Subhanallah. Never will that happen. Never will that happen. Never will that happen. Please, my dear brothers and sisters, beware of shaitan. It is shaitan who whispers to you, who taught you that when you give out your wealth would start decreasing. So, he is the one who has promised that the more you give, the poorer you become. La, never. It is not the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wallahu ya'idukumul maghfira. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promises you that immediately you give, He is going to grant forgiveness for you of your past sins. Then He would add up rahmah. Blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the heart uh, that we would love to do what pleases Him most. Amin. Akulu kawli hadha wa astagfirullaha li walakum. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu.